<laughs> Welcome, hello, hello. Thanks for joining me today for another Facebook Friday. Sorry, I already got distracted in the storm. My puppy's like jumping all over the place for some reason. Hopefully he doesn't start barking. So yes, anyway, another Facebook Friday, another Ferlici Friday. I have a new phone and things look kind of weird for me. Hello, Cheryl, thanks for joining us. I feel like it's actually like showing more than it used to. So I'm, okay, I'm gonna have to get used to that. Hello, Philomena, thank you for joining us. It's great to see you guys. Um, happy New Year's Eve, right? We're almost like to 2022. It's funny, I was like laughing with my sister yesterday. I'm like, I think I wanna call it 2022 because somehow that's easier. For me to say the 2022 there's like a tongue twister in there for me so we'll see i don't know i i just said 2022 so maybe i can do it um so yeah anyway we have some fun stuff we are going to be playing with some new jamie hello welcome thanks for joining us we're going to play with some celebration product today i thought okay give you a little sneak peek because um <clears throat> excuse me celebration starts next tuesday january 4th i think it is let me make sure yeah in big print on my catalog there right so yeah next tuesday january 4 you can start earning free celebration products with your orders so i'm going to show you guys some fun this is my most favorite of all the things in the celebration brochure this was like the very first thing that i knew i had to have which is this uh, friendly, I was gonna say hello friendly, but it's a friendly hello stamp set. So we've got sentiments, hello friend, hope you have the best birthday, that's a fun one, right? Um, you have my love and support, that's a great sentiment too, we can definitely use that these days it seems, right? And then just some beautiful imagery, some floral, there's a pretty bird there, you can use your um, blends and color in beautiful imagery in the stamp set. And then the really cool thing, is it coordinates i'm going to try to i think i have all six sheets it um <clears throat> coordinates and comes with the friendly hello designer series paper so if you guys can see i'll show you guys this again when we flip the camera down but so yeah great example that very front page right there if i kind of zoom in can you see there are some birds. Let's see, that looks like, yeah, there's a bird right there. Hello, Kathy. There, so the birds and the flowers on the stamp set are kind of mimicked in the designer series paper. Even the leaves, those pretty green leaves, you can see. So beautiful set of products. That is one side. I feel like one, two, three, yeah, I have all six. I'm like, wait a minute, is that five or six? But yeah, okay, so again, there is one side. And this is my one of my favorites. I love stripes. I guess I'm kind of like a, preppy girl at heart <laughs> so love those stripes and then here Deb hello welcome and then here's the back side so again you can really see the beautiful floral imagery um here's another one and they did say too that the um paper is even meant to stamp like you could stamp the flowers from the stamp set right here you can see those flowers how they coordinate you can kind of stamp those right on the designer series paper too so something kind of fun and different but this so i'm warning you guys because i think this is going to be the thing that sells out more quickly than anything else this is actually free with a 100 dollars order because you get the stamp set and the designer series paper and of course i already want like many many packs of the paper i don't need lots of stamp sets right so i'm going to, have to figure out what i'm going to do with all my extra stamp sets um we'll do maybe i'll do a class to go or something using that friendly hello stamp set we'll see depending on how many i end up with but i love this is the paper that you are going to need to get this the friendly hello stamp set and the designer series paper free with your 100 dollars order starting on tuesday next week january 4th this is the thing, I just, I know. I mean, unless they bought so much of this paper, um, I feel like it's gonna go on back order or something because um, I think it's the best thing in the catalog. So yeah, you're gonna see lots of fun projects. I've already been seeing lots of fun things on Pinterest and other people's blogs and things. So um, yeah, be watching for that. But we're gonna have some great fun today playing with that product too. So what's Deb saying? Hard to believe it's New Year's already. I know. <laughs> and way to go. Yes, Michigan State won the Peach Bowl last night. That was awesome, right? And are we ready? So I've got my maize and blue on. I warned you guys, right? I'd be wearing this. So tonight at 7.30 Eastern time, Michigan plays Georgia down in Florida. Hello, Brenda. Happy New Year's Eve to you too. Um, yes, they're playing in Miami, actually. Um, the... I don't even know what's the Orange Bowl. I think it's the Orange Bowl. I just know they're in Miami. Isn't that silly? Um, but yeah, so we're going to um, have, we're going to be like, yeah, 
hopefully show didn't go blue a lot, right? Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. Oh my gosh, pray, right? The, pray for a fun game, a competitive game, and a win at the end too, right? So yeah, awesome, awesome. And then there's another game this afternoon, um, Alabama and Cincinnati. So whoever wins that game plays the winner of the Michigan-Georgia um, game tonight. So there's definitely some interest in knowing what happens in that earlier game. So in, in case and hopefully we win, then we know who we're going to be playing against. So yes, fun, fun stuff. Um, okay, so I already mentioned celebration is starting. I've already like jumped around. Um, <clears throat> To kind of back up though, just the quick reminder, if you have not gotten everything you need out of our holiday, the mini, the July to December mini catalog, make sure you order last chance. This is truly like your last chance to get products. Many, 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 many things are retiring. In some cases, the bundles are retiring, but the stamp set and dies will carry over into our next holiday catalog. Um, so not, I mean, not literally every single thing is retiring, but many, 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 many things. And lots of things are already sold out too. So I know I've had customers contacting me saying, hey, I wanna get this. I'm like, oh, it's already sold out. So yeah, kind of just be warned of that too. But get anything that you need. You've got until um, Monday the 3rd to order out of um, anything that you still want out of that holiday mini catalog. Um, and speaking of getting a hold of me, I have had the biggest pain in the butt this week, I will say. Um, I got a new phone for Christmas and new service, kind of. Um, so we switched from AT&T back to Verizon. And I have had one heck of a time, um, literally like hours on the phone every single day this week trying to get my service transferred from AT&T over to Verizon and get my phone actually working. So I'm not really trying to complain about this because it is what it is, but my bigger point in telling you guys is this is, hello, Mike, how are you today? Um, is if you have been able to, if you've been trying to call or text me this week, I'm not getting many phone calls or texts. Like, it's kind of weird. Sometimes I'm getting texts. I'm not getting any phone calls. If you call me, it goes straight to voicemail and I don't even get the voicemail. So that's super annoying, right? Because I've had customers say, I tried to call you, I tried to text you, and I am getting email. So I've been kind of reaching out to people and that was one case where they're like, I tried to get a hold of you like three times, call text and like I'm not getting any of that right now things are kind of getting a little bit better and hopefully we're gonna get it fixed I don't know in the next couple of days I, I'm not really even sure because um, it's like literally every day we call Lily my daughter's been helping me and like sit on the phone with Verizon for hours and hours and this is like if you know me, this is my worst nightmare. I Technology, I just really, I'm like, if I could have my old phone from 10 years ago and it still worked and it, there was still service and all of that, I would be totally happy with that. Like, I don't need these new gadgets all the time. So this especially, and this is why, because of what a pain in the butt it's been to get things switched over. So anyway, sorry, sorry for the ranting. But like I said, my bigger point is to tell you, if you've been calling or texting, I'm probably not getting those calls or texts. The best thing for you to do is email me. So my name, Amy, A-M-Y, and then a period. So amy.frilici, F-R-I-L-L-I-C-I, at yahoo.com. I'm getting all of my email for sure, so I can get those. Um, so I can respond to you. So And Facebook Messenger, that's working also. Um, but the calls and texts, just not reliable yet. So I'm sorry if you have tried to get a hold of me and you think I'm ignoring you. I promise you I am not. I just am not getting those calls and texts right now. So it's weird because I'm like, gosh, my phone has been pretty quiet lately. And I didn't quite realize what was happening for the first couple of days too. So yeah, crazy, crazy fun times. So Anyway, okay, let's see, what else do we have going on? I talked about retiring stuff. Um, oh, I wanna show you guys a couple of Christmas cards that I received from some friends. So here is this first one. I love this beautiful, that peace on earth. Isn't that gorgeous with the um, big snowflake and the pretty sparkly ribbon? And then on the inside, <clears throat> this was from Linda Danis too. Um, she writes a beautiful, well, the sentiment says, sending you blessings, peace, and magic this Christmas season. And she's saying, dear Amy and family, thank you also for all the goodies we receive when we order. I so appreciate them. All the best, Linda. So isn't that so, it's beautiful. Love those kind of soft 
subtle shimmery colors on there that soft succulent right and then here is another fun card the joy with the big um the big o right isn't that pretty and then with the little um is it poinsettia right or no holly holly and berries right um but beautiful this one is from heidi sue and then i'll show you the inside too she decorated isn't that so cute how she did that too so she's got the Merry Christmas on the inside and just love all that sparkly, sparkliness. Hello, Trish. Thank you for joining us. Welcome. And then one more. This one is from Sally Guter. Um, and she, look at the beautiful job that she did. I love that background, right? And then it's like a kind of a canoe with that um, buffalo check ribbon. Isn't that beautiful? Um, and let's see. Yeah, it's just like a gorgeous, gorgeous card. And she says, Amy, may you and your family safely travel through 2022 and be happy and stay healthy. Merry Christmas, love, Sally. Hey, Tracy, hello, welcome. So beautiful Christmas cards. Thank you, guys. I love, you guys know me, I love receiving those Christmas cards. Oh, and then there's actually one more. This was part of um, swaps that we did. Um, this one was from um, Diana Boone made this card featuring and this is one of those already sold out and not continuing that whimsical trees bundle um the stamp set and dies beautiful this was one of my favorites from the holiday catalog and then she is one of those um snowflakes hello lori how are you doing welcome thanks for joining us um so yeah, beautiful Christmas cards. So thank you guys so much for those Christmas cards. I truly appreciate getting every single one of them. Um, okay, so now actually I wanna show you, we kind of switching gears. We did our um, team meeting this month on the third Tuesday. We always do it on the third Tuesday and we did some swapping. We had a really light crew there. Good, I'm glad you're doing well, Lori. Um, a small crew there, I would say. COVID has kind of been, oh, Trish says, I am so backwards. Is is that for anybody else? Am, am I backwards? Did I not? I feel like I have it set up, right? Hopefully it's just you, Trish. Somebody else comment and let me know if I'm backwards. Because I was, the other day, last week, last time I did it, I was sideways. And that was driving me crazy because I kept like moving my head like that. So yeah, let me know. Is anybody else? She says, you are so backwards. <laughs> or maybe it's just because my Michigan is backwards, which it is on Facebook Live, which is annoying. I know. Um, hopefully that's it. Hopefully like... Yeah, I mean, the camera's facing me, so okay, you got me all, I'm like all freaked out now. I Like I said, technology is not my friend generally, so. <laughs> okay, um, so I wanna show you guys though. So we did, we had some swapping that we did at our team meeting on the third Tuesday of, so right before Christmas, we actually did this. Um, but COVID's kind of been like a pretty major issue around here in Michigan. Um, so I know that's keeping a lot of people away. Um, and then obviously just with holiday times, things get busy. So we had a few swaps, but I thought I'm going to show you guys these um, so you can enjoy them because these are featuring some of our new, and I don't know the name, so I'm going to look this one up in a sec, but this was a card that Sharon Greening designed for us um, featuring, let me, let me look. I can't show you the catalog yet. Um, next Friday, I can show you the catalog. Oh, okay. She says the car, yes, the cards are all backwards, unfortunately. When I flip the camera down, Trish, which I'm going to do um, when I demonstrate in just a little bit, I'll put that in a different holder and then they won't be backwards. But yeah, this right now um, is backwards. Yeah, like you can see my Michigan, I'm sure is backwards. It's Facebook Live for some reason. Um, okay, so this is the Daffodil Afternoon Designer Series paper. So this is some paper that you can get for free during celebration as well. This is free with a $50 order. Beautiful 12 by 12 Daffodil Designer Series paper. So that's what she used there and then this is the back side of one of them and then I loved I'm like okay we're gonna have to do a fun fold like this too I love how so she just it's basically like a regular card but then we adhered this maybe one and a half one and a quarter inches um to the inside so then it flips open like this and then you've got probably like a four by four yeah piece right here and then um, a little piece on the inside with the stamp that says where would I be without a friend like you? Isn't that so nice? And I'm sure this is a new stamp set, probably the Daffodil stamp set. So the designer series paper from Celebration coordinates with, <clears throat> it's called the Daffodil Daydream Bundle. So I'm sure that this stamp is probably from that bundle. 
um, both of those, that stamp, that stamp, and maybe even this one right here too with the thinking of you, which is always handy. And then these are fun um, dies. They're um, a bunch of different dies that come in, what is that called? Because I noticed it's kind of like a fun, like geometric stamp set. I wonder if I'm gonna be able to flip and find, so you guys know the name of it. Um, and the dies, am I? Yes, okay. Oh, it's the Hello Beautiful stamp set and then the Beautiful Shapes dies. And it's a bunch of different shapes. So kind of fun, like squiggly shape. And then I don't know if you can see, there's like embossing too. So it made that oval and then it did some fun, like kind of like line embossing, but not like the stitched and not like super symmetrical. And then this one though is also embossed um, around the edge, but very symmetric. No, it's not either. It's got some fun little swirls kind of around it too. So just something kind of fun and different, but great label dies that are a part of that beautiful shapes die set and then a fun stamp set too. So that is a bundle also. So maybe, let's see. Nope, I don't see the thinking of you. So that must be, now I'm curious. Now I have to look and see the daffodil. I wonder if I can, <laughs> I wasn't, cause I know I can't show you guys the catalog. So I wasn't even really thinking um, about referring to it. So I didn't flag any pages. Um, no, actually it's not. The Daffodil Daydream stamp set has an Easter blessings and a Happy Mother's Day stamp in it and then some beautiful daffodil imagery and then the dyes also. So I don't know where you're thinking of you. <laughs> hey, Nancy, good morning. And Tracy, hello. I'm like missing people popping on. Um, anyway, so there's a great thinking of you stamp somewhere in the new catalog, I'm sure. Um, Sharon will probably pop on here at some point and she'll comment and she'll tell me what stamp sets these are from because they're awesome, right? Um, yeah, okay. Sorry, I'm like loopy. I'm loopy already. So that was one of our swaps, right? And then this was another fun one from Jenny Boffman. She went with a Valentine's theme, so stamped a bunch of hearts, um, and then we die cut them. And what was so cute was she actually die cut all of these hearts for us. Yes, Tracy, you're right. Go blue. <laughs> Only a few more hours. I cannot wait for this football game. Marty, hello, Aunt Marty. How are you? Welcome. Yes. Oh my gosh. So yeah, so she's um, die cut like all nine of these dies for everybody. You can't do the stamping ahead of time. So then we came in and did our stamps. Excuse me. We did our stamping. And I thought I did a pretty good job because usually I will stamp and then die cut, but because she wanted to help us out and kind of move things along, she die cut everything. So then trying to stamp each of the hearts inside there, but I think I did a pretty good job. And then the fun little love, we embossed that with some white embossing powder on the black paper so it really pops. <clears throat> and then on the inside, I put a few more hearts um, with that Happy Valentine's Day stamp inside there too. <clears throat> Excuse me, a little frog in my throat. And I'm sure that is going to be from, yes, that stamp is from the Sweet Conversation stamp set, and then there are the Sweetheart dies, and those both um, come together in a bundle, the Sweet Conversations bundle. Linda, hello, welcome, thanks for joining us today. Hopefully everyone is having a great like New Year's Eve. It's really quiet around town. Um, yeah, which is, I guess, just fine, right? So yeah, it's going to be a fun night though, right? A New Year's is always fun. Are you guys, who's going to stay up till midnight? I always like to watch the ball drop. That's like a kind of a funny, silly thing. Um, oh, Deb, I'm sorry. You're cutting in and out. It might be your... Um, your internet connection because I'm not getting anything here that's saying I'm having a problem. So yes, wishing you a happy new year as well, Miss Linda. Um, okay, oh, so the other thing that we do at our team meetings is I always do recognition for all of my top five sellers for the month. And then anyone that actually sells over $600 goes into what I call the $600 club for the month and they get a fun prize. And the reason why I do that is to really kind of highlight um, so that everybody knows if you have more than $600 in sales in a month, you actually get additional commission, they call it volume rebate, but additional commission from Stampin' Up! on your orders and they look so say we're in December right now if you have more than $600 in sales in December they wait until the end of the month they check and see who who had more than $600 in sales they figure your commission and then they basically direct deposit you your bonus um, into your checking or savings account at the beginning of the next month so in this case they'll look at December and then I'll 
happen on the beginning of January. Um, so I was wanting to make sure to show you guys because we have some fun new ribbon and this was my prize for the $600 club in December. I was able to get some of the real red, I think it's a linen, let me see. Um, yeah, real red faux linen and let's see yeah so it's beautiful too i don't know if you guys can see um, but it's kind of got that linen look so it's a little bit um see-through but it's really nice and like kind of twisty and easy to work with i will tell you i am already totally missing the real red sheer ribbon i think well i know it's retiring i'm not sure if it's sold out yet or not um let's see but I was going to try a bow but I know like I that ribbon I actually bought an extra bowl because I'm like I love it for my own like Christmas projects um and decorating well um not but for, like gift giving I love to put that ribbon on my gifts um, but that ties really nicely to that real red faux linen ribbon right so yes let's see oh <laughs> That's so funny, Brenda. I bring in the new year at 10 p.m. because it's the new year on the East Coast. <laughs> and then you can go to bed early. Good idea. Very nice. That's awesome. <laughs> I don't know. I still, I'm a night owl, so I, I can stay up till midnight without much of a problem. So we'll see. I'll probably, I think I'll be able to do it tonight too. So yes, but this was the $600 club prize, that real red. Beautiful. Perfect. This is part of the, um, the Valentine suite basically in the new mini catalog. So beautiful red ribbon. I think we can always use bright red, fun, beautiful ribbon, right? So yeah, oh, and what else? So we have to um, congratulate. We have another Inkspired Stamper, one of our team members, uh, Miss Tammy Mitchell actually, um, Oh my gosh, I'm just getting a text from something saying the polite thing would be to at least acknowledge a text. Um, okay, so I wonder, it looks like maybe I'm missing another. Now I'm like, oh my gosh, what, what did I miss? Okay, so I'm gonna have to check back into that a little bit. So I'm getting that text now though. So that text came through. Okay, um, yeah, okay, I'm gonna set that aside for a sec. Um, what was I talking about? Oh yes, Tammy, Tammy Mitchell. Um, reached bronze elite at $1,800 in sales um, just this month in December. So she promoted to bronze elite, which the best part about bronze elite is now she gets a 25% discount on all of her orders. And that is good. So the cool thing, the really cool thing is even if you're rolling 12 month sales number, once you hit the $1,800, then you get to keep that discount until September 30th of next year. So even if your sales kind of ebb and flow, if they dip below the 1800 go above above below that sort of thing it doesn't really matter they don't kind of recheck your um, status and whether you have enough in sales until next September 30th so she gets basically almost a whole year at um, a 25% discount on all of her orders. So great reason, hello, Vina, um, to get the starter kit, put those orders in, get to Bronze Elite as fast as you can, because then you get that 25% discount off of everything that you sell or order after that. Susie, hello, welcome. This is so fun. We have so many people on this morning. I'm loving this. I think because lots of people are off of work right now, right? So what a fun, I know a lot of times Fridays are hard for people and yeah, that you have to watch it later, but this is so awesome to have so many of you right here with me right now. So yes, Happy New Year, Vina. Glad you can join us. Thank you. Thank you very much. So yes, again, congratulations to Tammy Mitchell on promoting to Bronze Elite this month. So yes, woohoo, good for you, Miss Tammy. All right, I got to check my notes because I've been like jumping all over the place. Um, I think I'm doing a pretty good job. Let's see. I've got my little note that even <laughs> when I was prepping, I'm like, where are your maize and blue? Okay, check, I did do that. All right, good, okay, we did that, we did that. Okay, I think we are ready to do some drawings and I see that you guys have been, <laughs> yes, go blue, yes, Linda, awesome. I love that I have so many like Michigan maize and blue fans, uh, friends out there. Diana, hello, welcome, thanks for hanging out with us. So yes, and thank you also for sharing the video. Good morning, Diana. Um, truly, truly appreciate that. Love your shares. Love to reach new people, um, especially, you know, this kind of end of year, beginning of the new year. People are 
are always wanting to kind of refresh and restart things. And why not share this love of stamping that we obviously all have um, with someone maybe new that isn't a part of our group yet. So love the sharing of the videos. Maybe we'll catch some new friends that want to hang out with us and do some paper crafting with us as well. Oh, what's she saying? All of your sweatshirts. Oh, 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 I see. Yours are all sweatshirts and you're in Florida, so you don't need a sweatshirt right now. Well, you should just come to Michigan and you can definitely wear your sweatshirts then. <laughs> oh, that's awesome, Linda. Well, you need to get a t-shirt then for sure. Yeah, you should do that. So thank you. Um, and thank you for sharing too, which was kind of what I was saying there. So <clears throat> I have names in my basket right here. We are going to give a... <laughs> No way, huh? <laughs> I hear you. I don't think I'd come to Michigan right now either if I didn't have to. Oh, <laughs> Lori. <laughs> okay, go green. Yes, and I know even the Wolverines. Both basketball was in Orlando. I watched that game last night too. That was kind of a bummer, a big, big, fat bummer, basically. They did not play very well. So that was at University of Central Florida, I think they played. And you're kind of like, oh, you know, thinking – you know, they'll probably win, but they did not. They could not do it. So, yeah. So then I was like, oh, and Juwan Howard, um, the coach of the basketball team, is one of my favorites. I just think he's one of the neatest guys ever. Um, I can say I almost went to school with him. I think I did, actually, but we never had any classes together. Anyway, we were both on campus in Ann Arbor at the same time. My daughter's like, oh, my gosh. <laughs> Hi, Lily. Are you going to try to sneak through here? Okay. You going to the gym? Uh-huh. Okay. All right. Have a good workout, Lily. <laughs> Say hi bye. <laughs> Don, hello. Welcome. Oh, yeah. Well, we're so who? The Linda, you're saying, well, Michigan didn't play that well last night, but uh, you know, it's all right. They they're young. They are trying to figure things out. Um, and they're still fun to watch. And like I said, Juwan is one of my favorites. And I was like, you know, they're probably all, maybe all, the whole basketball team gets to go down to watch the football game now, too. I don't know. They're already in Florida. So you'd think, why not, right? So <laughs> all right. So we're gonna give away. <laughs> you guys are all <laughs> I need green and white because they won the peach ball. I know it will not happen. And thankfully, I don't think I was I was always like not sure. Well, my kids want to go to Michigan State and I think Lily maybe thought about it for like a hot second actually this is kind of funny hopefully she's leaving so she can't hear me but she was like um what did she the whole the comments were basically like um she can't go to Michigan State because um I think <laughs> what'd she say did she not like the colors she's like but we're Michigan fans so she couldn't go to Michigan State and then also she's like I don't think I like the green and white either so because we've been so maize and blue like she's grown up on like the maize and blue so she just couldn't like convert over to green and white so thankfully neither one of my kids are going to be at Michigan State so I can still just root for Michigan so okay sorry we're like way off on tangents here are we I'm like a little bouncing off the walls today about this uh, game tonight though so okay all right we have the wonderful gems this is what we're going to get back on track we're going to give these away right now the wonderful gems these are retiring too so if you love them and if you don't win them for sharing the video or signing up for my email list um if you don't win them right now get online and get them ordered while you still can because they're beautiful any of those sparkly gems right basically i put gems on pretty much every card so you got to have lots and lots of gems around okay so here we go we are gonna draw one lucky winner who's it gonna be stormy He's over in the chair watching me like, who the heck are you talking to again? I don't know. He's kind of used to it, though. <laughs> okay, so we have one winner, Miss Susan Pacheco, who is also down in Florida. <laughs> Deb is saying, go Alabama. All right, for now, but if they win and if Michigan wins, then you, then you got to root for Michigan, right? <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. So congratulations, Susan, for winning those wonderful gems. I will get those sent out to you. Okay, so on our next Facebook Live, which we are actually going to do next Friday, which whatever day that is, so the, maybe the 7th, right? Probably January 7th, I'm thinking. Yep, that sounds right. We will be giving away these garden gems, and these are another, these are kind of a real limited time only thing that you can order. You can still get them right now. They are, just so you know, it's item code 159277. 
they're called the garden gems and these were something that were re released along with that um, Eden's Garden Designer Series paper, limited time only offering the gems and the um, Designer Series paper. The stamp set and dies that coordinate are actually in our new mini catalog, so you'll be able to get those for the next six months, but the gems you cannot order after December 31st. So, which is today, <laughs> now that I'm saying that. So if you love these gems, you're gonna wanna order them. And then if you share the video, maybe you'll win another pack of them. So this is what we're gonna give away on our next Facebook Live. So that will be awesome, right? To give something away that you can't even order any longer. The garden gems, and they're beautiful too. I should say, what's kind of fun about them is they say these are cherry cobbler. In the right light, I catch red, but honestly, I think they go kind of green maybe a little blue also. And then these I think are, they're almost more like a, like a raindrop, teardrop. And I think those are soft succulent is the color, um, but they're beautiful. So, right, we can always use more gems. So we will give those away on our next Facebook Live. <laughs> yes, Aunt Marty, go blue and go chips for sure, for sure. That is awesome. Okay, um, let's see, what else are we? I think, are we good? Yes, I think. Oh, I know what I want to tell you guys about. Um, the ne I'm sorry, I'm like getting all these. So some texts are coming through. Okay, I've got a friend, my friend Stacy, that Lily and I went to visit a couple of weeks ago is coming to Chicago to hang out with us here in Michigan this weekend. And I'm just getting texts saying she's got everything packed and she's on her way. So, okay, good, good. Her dog was having some digestive issues and she wasn't sure if she was going to be able to come. Apparently, Maisie is her name too, which isn't that fun, I'm sure, because we um, are both Maze and Blue fans. We met in Ann Arbor at U of M also, way back in the 80s and late late 80s, early 90s. <laughs> That's a little while ago, right? Um, so yeah, anyway, Maisie was having some digestive issues um, since Christmas Day, she told me, so it was very hit or miss whether she was going to be able to make this trip or not. Um, but she's coming. So yeah, we're going to, we'll be able to watch the football game together and that will be awesome. Super excited to have her come hang out with us. But yeah, sorry, the text, like some of them are coming through and she was just saying she's on her way. So very excited about that. Um, okay, let's see. So, I, oh, I know, I wanna tell you guys about um, my designer series paper share. I totally meant to mention it um, on the last Facebook Live, completely forgot to do it. But basically, I'm gonna give, a, not give away, I'm gonna be ordering on Tuesday next week, I'm gonna order every single pack of designer series paper, including the specialty papers that we have in the mini catalog. I forgot to bring a flyer over here. There are, let me see if I can tell you. I mean, you'll get the idea, but I don't know, 10 or 12 different packs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, let's see, nine, 10. I think it's 11 packs of designer series paper and specialty paper are in this mini catalog. You basically get a quarter of a pack of all of those papers. Plus, there are free three free celebration designer series papers, not including that friendly hello that we're gonna use in a little bit because that's the stamp set too. So there are <clears throat> three other packs of paper that you're gonna get for free when you order the paper share. The paper share is $35, again, to get a quarter of a pack of all of the paper um, in this catalog and then get three samples of the designer series paper, three quarters of a pack of those papers for celebration as well. Hello, Susan, hello, thanks for joining us. So if you're interested, let me know. It's $35, if you need it shipped to you, I send everything priority mail to make sure that it's handled very well and there's tracking and insurance and all of that. So it's an additional $9 for the priority mail shipping. If you don't need it shipped, I just put it out on the porch and then that shipping fee is waived. Um, so let me know if you're interested. Email me, amy.ferlici at yahoo.com. That is at the bottom of every single email too. So if you ever need to get a hold of me, my phone number, which wait till next week <laughs> if you call or text. Um, but my email, like I said, is working right now. So that's at the bottom of every single text that I send you or email that I send you too, okay? Um, yay, oh, you're working today. Oh, well, that's all right. Everyone has to work sometimes, right? So yes, but glad that you caught us as well, Susan. Thank you, I'm glad you could be here with us. Um, okay, yeah, so if you're interested, designer series paper share, let me know. I Email me and then I can send you a PayPal invoice and then that's probably the easiest way, just pay it through PayPal, okay? Um, or if you wanna write cash, 
uh, write it write cash write a check cash whatever you want to do um, we take all forms of payment here at the gathering inspiration stamp studio okay um all right i think we are just about ready to flip the camera down i actually did not have any online orders um, from our last Facebook Live, so I had a couple things to give away. So we're gonna skip past that, but I wanna tell you guys what we are gonna give away for an online order of at least $30 using the host code that I will give you in just a few minutes. Um, you get your name in the drawing to win. This is the Simply Marvelous, not Marvelous, but Marvelous Designer Series paper, which is one of the free celebration items. And I just have to show you guys this paper. Because I looked at it, this happens so many times with the paper. I looked at it and I was like, mm, I don't know, I'm not really sure if I love that. And then I opened it and I'm so glad I did because now I'm like, oh, I definitely need this paper. So I'm giving away my very first pack of this paper. I haven't even had a chance to play with it, but I'm like, I want you guys to have it and see it. So I'm gonna try to kind of flip. But so do you see like it's very marbly looking? And so there's the front and back and then it's super, oh, is it gonna flip? I know, I'm gonna, um, I'll do it both ways, right? So there's one there, you guys can kind of see and they're all a little bit different. Do you see all these pretty like, pastel marbly colors right okay so that's one side and then this is like woo. this is like more bright and vibrant right do you see that swirliness there so there's like the blue and the gray i don't even know what colors i'll look in a sec and we'll be able to tell you what colors are in here but aren't those cool so those are more like bold right and then these are kind of more subtle um rita hello welcome thanks for joining us um okay so let me tell you the colors Totally squinting here, ladies, sorry. Balmy Blue, Basic Gray, Blushing Bride, Bumblebee, Coastal Cabana, Flirty Flamingo, Gorgeous Grape, Highland Heather, Misty Moonlight, Pool Party, Smoky Slate, and So Saffron. So you can see there are lots of like light and dark shades, like the purples, the Highland Heather, and the Gorgeous Grape. So, and you can kind of twist them to whatever you need um, them for, but beautiful. This is a gorgeous pack of paper. So your name will automatically go in the drawing, all you need to do is put at least a $30 order in anytime between now and next Wednesday at midnight, which is January 5th. Use the host code I'll give you. It's also always on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com. Your name will go in the drawing to win. And it's already open. Sorry, I'm, I'll probably be sending this pack. I'll repackage it though, so it's safe. Whoever, you know, wherever I need to mail, it'll come to you very beautiful and pristine. Um, but yeah, your name will go in the drawing to win this paper. And you'll also get the projects that I'm going to demonstrate in just a couple minutes, just to show you guys. Okay. All right. Um, let me do a quick double check. But I think we, I think we talked about, I'm like looking around at my table. Oh, I know. One other thing I should show you guys too, real quick though. When you put your online order in, you guys know this, I hope, right? Um, you, with $30 order, your name goes in the drawing to win that designer series paper I just showed you. You get the projects that I'm going to demonstrate over here in just a sec. And if you bump your order up to $50, which starting Tuesday, why would you not do? Because you get a free celebration item from Stampin' Up. Also from me, you get to pick from either the free embellishment for um, January, which is going to be these beautiful, they're called the Polished dots so more sparkly gems they are similar like packaging and size wise to those wonderful gems that i just gave away for sharing but these i think are maybe like um like a light pink why am i totally drawing a blank on the pink they're like a white and a pink a clear and a pink but they're oh, i don't know if you guys can see pretty pretty pink what the heck is that color pale pale I can't remember that, the, the light pink color that we have, not Blushing Bride, Petal Pink, Petal Pink, that's it. I feel like they might be Petal Pink. Um, but can you see, they're just beautiful sparkly gems. So this is the free embellishment with a $50 order. You get to pick from that free embellishment or the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial, which I need to print the January one, although maybe we don't even have it quite ready yet. Anyway, you can, you can also pick from PDF tutorial if you would prefer that over the embellishment. And this is my fun card that I did also featuring that friendly hello stamp set and designer series paper. So isn't that beautiful? This, I think what's so fun is the color combination in this designer series paper. It's very like fun and springy. And so that was kind of brought to life on this card. So if you want to know how to make this card, put your $50 order in and you can get that PDF tutorial for free. So yeah, I loved, oh my gosh, beautiful, beautiful. And I love that ribbon too. I just have to highlight because this is um, like that sheer pool party ribbon. We've had this for forever, but 
I don't know if you can kind of see it very well, but I love how it ties. Yes, it's beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, so let me, I got to kind of clean things off here so that we can flip the camera down. Okay, give me one sec. Okay, okay, okay. I think we're good. Okay, we're getting, we're getting there. We're almost good. <laughs> okay, yeah. All right, we're going to flip the camera down. So turn your eyes away so you don't get seasick or whatever. And hopefully my new phone, all of a sudden I had this moment of, oh my gosh, is my new phone going to fit in the clip? And I'm like pushing buttons. Okay, I'm going to scoot it over a little bit more. <laughs> yes, Linda, good idea. You love crafting the football. That is a great, yes, I have Sunday football on a lot, just like in the background even. Yes, very good idea. Okay, here we go. Okay, all right, I think we're good. The camera is supposed to be even better on this phone. I don't know, that probably shows more of like my wrinkles, <laughs> which, which I don't really need anyone to see more wrinkles, but you know, that's how that goes, right? Okay, so I've got my grid paper. I'm going to, okay, in addition to my phone being a pain in the butt right now, my printer is not working either. So that's the December host code. And in green, I have scribbled the January host code, the 3SZN4XQZ. And I will be updating my blog shortly with that new host code also. So if you would like to order, that's the host code that you're gonna to wanna to use when you order to get your name in the drawing to win that Simply Marvelous designer series paper. And um, also get the free embellishment or the PDF tutorial if you bump your order up to $50. Okay, good. So Venus, or I'm sorry, Philomena is saying that it's very clear. Good, I'm glad. Okay, so we're in, we're in view there. All right, I'm going to scoot that out of the way for a second. I'll bring it back when we are um, done with things. But Oh, I know. I want to show you guys before we get to the paper or the um, cards, these are a couple of scrapbook pages also featuring the new friendly hello stamp set and the fun thing is i actually kind of adapted hi marcia how are you thanks for joining us um i adapted these pages some of like the detail for example this right here ended up on one of the cards i'm going to show you guys in just a few minutes so i think that's kind of fun a lot of times so here's the other page that coordinates a lot of times i will design my scrapbook pages based off of cards that we have made but this one i kind of did the opposite where i use these scrapbook pages and then i was like oh we're going to use some of the elements from these pages and put them on cards so i think that's kind of fun and marcia's down in texas awesome good for you i'm sure it's much nicer weather um, down there than it is here but so here these are the two it's hard to fit them all in view <laughs> I'm not backwards anymore yes I know it's that when you flip the camera down yep it's just how it is with Facebook lives unfortunately so yeah but those are the two pages again featuring the friendly you can guys can see that right the friendly hello stamp set so here's the bird right and then um oh then we used a bunch of and you can it's almost like you can create designer series paper too <laughs> that's cute hi my friend yes hello susan and then here oh i have to show you guys this again so there's my most favorite love that stripey paper this is going to be too busy with all of these i feel like i'm missing there's one more there we go okay so there is the designer series paper kind of one side of all of them, right? Can you guys see all that? Isn't it just beautiful? It's my most favorite. And then we'll flip it over. And here is the other side of the designer series paper. So beautiful. You're all gonna need this friendly hello stamp set designer series paper. You get a full pack, um, two sheets of each of this, 12 by 12, and then the um, stamp set for $100, free with $100 order. Oh, and I think that, yes, let's see. Oh, back in the 70s, but you're going to get some freezing. Oh, yeah, that's just too bad, isn't it? <laughs> that it's going to get cold for you, and then it's going to get back into the 70s, Marsha. I'm feeling so badly for you. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah, so there's snow on the ground. Actually, it came, of course, after Christmas. We always love, like, a white Christmas if we have to live in Michigan, right? But, you know, now we have a white New Year's, I guess. So, okay, all right. Let's do some crafting. I have been super chatty today. Okay, so here is my first card that I want to share with you guys. 
<laughs> yes, Susie, I know. I can't wait to see what you come up with with this stamp set and dies too. Uh, or designer series paper, I should say. I'm looking at this. This is one of the dies from that set, the Eden dies. Love that little label right there too. So, okay, let me show you. I'm going to give you kind of all the details on how we made this card. Okay. I had my little note that said, you need your glasses. And now I see why. I'm like, oh, I have to stamp this. I did these a few days ago. And it's always a surprise to me, like, oh, this is what we're going to make? <laughs> you know, when it was like two days ago that I designed the cards. Okay, so fresh freesia cardstock. Here we go, right? So here's our full piece of fresh freesia cardstock. Along the eight and a half inch side, we cut it at four and a quarter inches. And then along the five and a half inch side, we score, excuse me, the 11 inch side, we scored it at five and a half inches, right? To make our nice crisp fold on our card, okay? Then we have the only other piece that is truly like just measurement that you need to cut specifically. This one is three inches by four and a quarter. Again, I had to use my stripey, beautiful, um, friendly hello. I'm gonna keep calling it hello friendly. So it's friendly hello or hello friendly whatever <laughs> designer series paper so that piece goes right on there and then we actually just have this is like a, i think a three inch wide strip just fits that die on there and we're going to just die cut and then there's that pretty on the background too okay all right so let's do typically i would do my um die cutting my stamping first but this one was harder to, I think it's it's easier, I guess I should say, to stamp all of this stuff once you have die cut. So I'm actually going to die cut this piece and this piece, and actually we're going to stamp this one, and then we'll die cut that too. So hello, Darlene, if that makes sense. Normally I stamp and then die cut, but this one we're going to do the opposite. I'm going to die cut, and then I'm going to stamp within it. So, okay, so we're going to do our stamping of our sentiment though, right? That says, hope you have the best birthday with our fresh freesia ink, right? Is that what I'm using? Oh, there it is. I'm like, did I not put my labels on? Fresh freesia. Okay. So nice, easy tap, tap, tap. As always, we're going to press straight down, lift straight up. There we go. Okay. All right. Now I am going to close that up so I don't get ink all over the place. And again, oh, this is actually another one. I forgot about this because it's really, I, I did this the other night when I was um, setting, making these cards. Like that's kind of hard to make sure that I have it um, ew, what do I want to do? All right, we're going to try it. <laughs> this is another one though that, or I can just flip, you know what, that's what we're going to do. I'm going to flip this over and I'm going to stamp on it because I don't, I don't want it to not work out well. So this is the opposite of how I generally always do things. I'm going to die cut first and then I'm going to stamp on that thing. <laughs> so again, but that little beautiful label is part of the Eden dies right there. Okay, so back it up, changing my mind. Here we go. This is what we're doing. Okay. All right, so I have my die cutting and embossing machine. Oh, Darlene's saying Happy New Year and thank you for the beautiful Christmas card. You're welcome. You're welcome. I had so much fun sending cards out. You guys don't know, like, um, there's something about, you know, like you think of each person that you mail a card to. So I, I thought of each of you as I sent a little Christmas card to you this year, which I think is so fun. That was a great way to kind of reminisce about all the people that I've met through this love of paper crafting. And if I didn't send you a Christmas card, it's because I don't have your address. It's not that I didn't want to send you a Christmas card. So if you didn't get one from me, send me your address and I'll get you in my list and make sure to send you one next year okay so oh did i even tell you guys i don't think i even told you there's a little something on there um these are my favorite love them use them all the time the stitched so sweetly dies are what we are using um oh and you got a christmas card yes you did miss anna you're welcome so these stitch so sweetly dies this is the largest um that cute little scallop edge right <laughs> good okay so yes you guys all got the cards Awesome, awesome. That's I love that. I love that so much. Okay, so we're gonna actually use this other one more. Oh, we better pull this off too, so you guys can see how great 
this, oh, ooh, I didn't do too bad actually. And I wasn't even trying at all because I flipped it upside down, but that's like the back side. So we're gonna actually flip it over and we're gonna stamp it again right on there in a moment. So, but wow, I did pretty well on that without even trying. Feeling good about that. Okay, let's get those guys out of the way. Okay, so we're gonna, we have to die cut one more. I loved this idea I kind of saw in the, um, where's the other one? Here it is. <laughs> in the celebration brochure, which I should tell you guys, if you have not, let me make sure, this is super, so you might want to cut your paper at three and a quarter inches just to give yourself a little more wiggle room. I do that to myself because I want to make sure um, I use every inch of my designer series paper. And obviously three inches is a, um, kind of more user friendly than three and a quarter than I would have some waste potentially. Oh, Marsha's got to go to a doctor's appointment. Okay. Good luck at your doctor's appointment, Marsha. Happy new year to you as well. We hope to see you again on another Facebook live anytime, most Fridays. I can't say every Friday anymore because I've not been able to quite keep that up with my new responsibilities at my job, but as many Fridays as I can get in, that's what we're doing. So, okay. All right, here, now we're gonna stamp again. Okay, I had to put my glasses back on. So we've got the, hope you have the best birthday, okay? <laughs> okay, here we go. We're gonna stamp that, there we go. Okay, that was pretty good, right? Hope you have the best birthday. Okay, now we are going to, so again, these are all stamps from the beautiful Friendly Hello stamp set that we are going to use. So we're going to start, I'm going to turn my, okay, nice, easy, tap, tap, tap. We are going to stamp our flowers in Fresh Freesia ink, okay? So we've got those. And then we're just going to kind of add some fun detail around it. I started next with my, oops, we're going to scoot those out of the way too. We're gonna use our Granny Apple Green. Oh, this color combination I just love. And you can see, right, the beauty, always the beauty of Stampin' Up, all the colors that are in this designer series paper are what inspired the colors on um, this that we're working with right now. So we used Fresh Freesia. Now there's Granny Apple Green, a little stripe right there. So we're gonna add this Granny Apple Green, those leaves, and then I'm gonna grab a couple more. We're gonna stamp that one in granny apple green and then we're going to do this leaf also in granny apple green and then we are going to use our pale papaya ink for some more stamping we are going to grab these this little can you guys see that little buddy there he's so cute okay so we're going to stamp that one right there isn't that oh my gosh i just love i think that's going to go on like every envelope i send out now oh <laughs> just the cute little fun little details right and then some um it's like little water splotches and I'm just going to kind of lightly add these around a little bit it just kind of fills things in so it's almost like instead of um stamping you can just kind of um, you know, you could even kind of add it inside the flowers there, but I kind of like, it's almost like a spray, right, around the flowers. Isn't that so pretty? So look, you could make your own designer series paper right there. Um, again, inspired by the colors in the designer series paper too. Okay, so I think we are good with all of that. So now we can put things together. Okay, so we're going to add our designer series paper first. Run it, tip it back, run it, tip it back, run it, tip it back. Sharon, one of my downline was, she says she can hear me every time she uses her um, her seal now. She hears Amy, me saying, run it, tip it back, run it, tip it back. And she's the one that actually showed me how to really use this because I was struggling and Sharon watched a video and she showed me kind of, how to work it and so i've been trying to share that with you guys too so i just put some adhesive behind that piece we're going to put dimensionals on this one right here okay so we're just going to add a few of these babies behind here okay try to get all the backings off okay there we go we're going to just add that one 
I wonder, I feel like that needs to go down a little bit lower. I wonder if I'm gonna be able to peel this off without making a mess of things. If I didn't press too hard, it's possible. There, I think we're gonna be all right, because even if I rip <laughs> there, if I hurt the designer series paper, I'm gonna cover it up. There, we just needed to put that down. I wanted that kind of offset a little bit more than it was looking like it was gonna be. There we go, and then we're gonna put that little guy right about there. Okay, now we're gonna just add adhesive on the back of our hope you have the best birthday. And I love that detail, right? Just so pretty. We're gonna run that right there. And then where's my ribbon? Okay, so this is part of a duo pack of ribbon and I have been using this a ton. I have to look it up because I need to give you guys the name of it because I wanna know what it is too. So I think it comes with that petal pink, um, here we go. It's cotton ribbon, the cotton ribbon combo pack, and it's $9, and it is on page 43 of the catalog that I'll be able to show you next week. Um, Misty Moonlight and Petal Pink. Yes. So you know what's kind of funny is I think actually this is Petal Pink, but I kind of looked at it thinking it looked more like Pale Papaya, but when I pulled the cardstock out, then I was like, oh no, that's definitely petal pink, which I think we used on the other card. But I think you can kind of, this is one of those that you could kind of bend. Like if you put it with um, pale papaya, it would work. And if you put it with petal pink, it would work. So I think this works great. This is petal pink ribbon and then the petal pink designer series paper. But I used, again, the pale papaya. You can see how close those colors are, right? So that's kind of neat too, sometimes especially those lighter colors. Um, yes, Susan, you still struggle with the plus, the seal plus. Yes, I did that the other day. I pulled it out on Facebook Live and I thought I was just going to whip something out for you guys and it got all like tangled up on itself. <laughs> so yes, I have um, still, I have, there's like a learning curve with that one for me. Um, yeah, which we'll, I'll figure that out. That'll be the next thing I'll figure it out and I'll share. I'll share what I learned with you guys. <laughs> when I learn it. Or if you know some tricks, let me know too. So this ribbon is super easy to tie and work with. This cotton is really, really soft. It's like, you know, cotton. It's just, it's really, it's just really nice and soft. And hello, Lisa. Thanks for joining us. Okay, so we're just going to put a little glue dot behind here. We're just going to add that bow right on there. Okay, and you guys know, right, I just can't not put some bling on. So let's see, I thought I had, oh yeah, I did. Oh, and this one, Never mind. we're not gonna use those this time. We are gonna use my champagne rhinestones, which I have found work so well with, there's something about this pretty champagne color. Actually, we're gonna use them from the top here. Let's see if I can get my, I forgot my take your pick tool again. So what's kind of funny is when those flip over on their side, they're, it's almost easier to then get the glued out. If I don't dig underneath it, if I can flip it, I don't know. Where did it go? Oh, it's on there. <laughs> okay. All right. We'll put one there, one there. We're going to do, I did one kind of right down in that area there. And then I had to add one more over. Hmm. We will put it, maybe we'll do this one down here. It looks like kind of, it's like wherever you feel like you need to fill a little space or just add a little sparkle or something. So again, the champagne rhinestones have loved these things. They came out a couple of years ago and they're just, they work perfectly with this designer series paper. I've used them a number of times with this already. So there you go, ladies. There is card number one, again, featuring that friendly hello stamp set and the friendly hello designer series paper. Okay, so one down, one to show you guys, okay? That one there. All right. Okay. My little anal side coming out here. We just have to clean these things off real quick because otherwise they'll get ink all over stuff. And you guys know, right? Love the chamois, right? Oh, is it like wiggling all over the place? It does seem like, wow, I feel like it is even more crisp and clear, isn't it? Okay. Sorry. That was making you guys seasick. Okay. Let's put these things out of the way. Peek at card number two. Okay, check this one out. I'm super excited about this one. Also, again, featuring the friendly hello stamp set and designer series paper. Thanks, 
Oh, Darlene, you got to run. Okay, watch more later. Yes, please do. We'd love to have you come back and see what else we have shared. Okay, so this is, so again, this is petal pink. I used this designer series paper, another one of the patterns. And when this is when I was saying, when I pulled out my petal pink and my pale papaya, I realized, oh, that is more petal pink than pale papaya. So that's why I used petal pink cardstock right there with my designer series paper. But then we also have the fresh freesia. So kind of a fun color combo there. Oh, they're just, they are beautiful, aren't they? Thank you, ladies. Okay, so let's get these things out that we We're gonna do some coloring too. That's why I <laughs> had to make sure to bring my glasses over. Okay, we've got these little guys. Okay, so let me give you some dimensions of things. All right, so our petal pink cardstock, let's get that up out of the way a little bit there. Thanks for sharing, guys. I know Philomena, the colors are just gorgeous, aren't they? Okay, so petal pink cardstock. This time along the 11 inch side, we cut it at five and a half inches, and then along the eight and a half inch side, we scored it at four and a quarter inches. Hello, Debbie. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. So happy to have everybody here today. This is so fun. All the names are popping up. It's a busy day, huh? Okay, so designer series paper, four by five and a quarter inches. So that's just kind of a fun, um, splotchy pattern. And then look at that beautiful. And you see there, you can really kind of tell how well it coordinates with the paper now too, right? The stamps up with the paper. Okay, so we're gonna use that one. And then here, this is another piece that we're gonna use that strip right there. So there's one side, there's the fun little bubbles on the other side. Yes, it is very springy and cheery, which we can use right now, right? Two inches by five and a quarter inches. And truly, isn't that one of the best things about stamping and paper crafting is that it kind of brings you joy through all these beautiful things that you can play with. So even, you know, when times are tough, maybe when you're feeling a little blue, I think pulling these things out and playing with them can really kind of lift your spirits and maybe take your mind off things um, for a little while too. So it is a great, and that, like the therapy of working with your hands too. I've talked to so many people about that as, you know, as I share what I do and so many different things, even like the quilting and, you know, any of the other crafting kind of things that you can do that working with your hands, it's very relaxing and therapeutic. So yeah, love that we can share this with each other too. Okay, so let's see, we need, we're going to do again, I'm going to do my die cutting, I am going to stamp my happy birthday. And I actually this is kind of fun. I used um, pool party blends because I wanted it to be kind of light. But when I stamped pool party happy birthday, it wasn't like bright or dark enough. So I ended up using Coastal Cabana, which is kind of like a little bit deeper, darker shade of Pool Party. So we're going to do that. We're going to stamp her happy birthday so that we can die cut this piece. And then we're going to die cut this and then we'll stamp it like I did before because it was easier for me to fit it on there once I had already um, die cut it. Okay, so let's do that. Um, I'm looking for, oh, so I used the Art Gallery stamp set. This is one that we've had for a while, that happy birthday is what I used right there. So we're gonna do that. So we're gonna stamp in Coastal Cabana. I'm gonna scoot that out of the way for a sec too. Okay, so nice, easy tap, tap, tap. We're gonna press straight down, lift straight up. Okay, perfect, simple, easy. Okay, all right, so now we're gonna do our die cutting. I'm gonna grab this back. We're gonna try, I think we can get everything cut on one run through. So let's try to do that. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna snip this off. I don't need that whole strip. That'll make that a little bit easier, okay? And then, let's see, I'll put that one there and I'll show you what we're gonna do with that fresh freesia because you might not even know yet, I'm being so tricky, right? Okay, so that's that the biggest label again in the stitched So Sweetly dies. And then I've got one more. This one is the second smallest in those. So we use the biggest one right there on the white. And then the other, happy birthday, uses that second smallest. So we're going to put that one on there. That one just fits on there. And then, where did those dies go? Oh, yeah, we used them on another. <laughs> okay, so again, the Eden dies. We're going to use this little baby. And I saw this trick in the catalog. There are lots of little tips and tricks that I think sometimes I don't even notice in the catalog. So this was one of them. They showed these dies or this kind of whole 
um, frame, if you will, and then they snipped it apart. And that's what I actually did. So I just took a couple little pieces and added them just to add a little bit of detail right there. So we're going to die cut this baby and just kind of snip some things out and tuck them behind there. Okay, so I think we are good to go. Okay, sorry if it wiggles. Give me one sec to get this thing run through also. Here we go, here we go. Okay. All right. So this one, again, the largest label. Okay, we've got that one right there. And let's get that out of the way. And then we've got our happy birthday, the second smallest little label. Again, they mirror though. I love that too, right? It's This is just like a small version and then a larger version with the scallop and the stitching there. And then this fun one. So this is kind of cool, right? And this sometimes, hmm. Let's see, yep, I've got one little bit there. And it's okay, in this case, if it pulls apart, we'll just use. So I love that frame, right? That could be kind of pretty around something, but we're gonna snip this baby up and just kind of use those little pieces. Okay, all right, so we're good. Let's get this guy out of the way. And I'll show you what we're gonna do here. Okay, I think I've got everything. I feel like it's all over the place, but okay. So we're gonna start with, let's add our designer series paper. Okay, run it, tip it back, run it, tip it back, run it, tip it back. I wanted to just say, I'm getting better at it. And then if I do actually say that, then I'm gonna jinx myself. So, so maybe I won't say that out loud. <laughs> okay, so this just kind of goes right through the center. Oh, and you know what? Oh, I forgot about this. So I was, I wanted it, to, originally I was gonna lay it right on top there. And then when I put it down, I'm like, oh, I think I want it to go all the way to the edge. So I actually kind of cheated. And so we're going to do that again. <laughs> so what I did was I added one like that. I cheated by cutting it because you're not even going to be able to tell that I did that when I put my other piece over top. Okay, so then the trick is to like get it lined up. So if you cut something wrong, put, a, put something over top of it, and then you won't even know that I have that little... <laughs> thing right there, right? Okay, so I'll show you what I mean in a sec if you're not if you're not following me. I know it's super complicated. Okay. So my black memento ink. I'm going to get my birdie all inked up. This one you can press harder. You can hear me pounding because this is a, like a linen ink pad. It's not like our firm foam ink pads. Okay. So I'm going to press firmly. I'm not wiggling or rocking, but I am trying to make sure all my ink comes off of my stamp onto my paper. Okay, and then we're just gonna add this little guy right there. So just, just like the little flowers are kissing. Okay, there we go. All right, now, oh, I definitely need my glasses on. Okay, here we go, I'm gonna get serious. So I'm gonna use, first of all, this is Pool Party, the lighter, I think, let me make sure. Yep, I did use the lighter, okay. So we're just gonna kind of circle this in, just kind of fill this in with that light pool party. Try to get as close to the edges as I can, but I was kind of thinking it's okay if it's not perfectly colored. I am more of like a precise colorer. I love um, the people that can see and kind of know the light and shading and all of that. I'm not as good with that. Um, so I just kind of color. This is my um, light petal pink, and I'm just going to color these flowers in. And again, I'm not really worrying about getting all the way out to the edges. I think it's kind of one of those that beauty is almost in the imperfection um, but I am, this one does fade too, I've noticed. Like you color it and you think it's, ooh, that's good color. And then you move your eyes away for a sec and it kind of fades out a little bit. So I am going to add a little bit more color in there. And then I like to the centers to be a little bit darker. So I'm going to use the darker shade of, sorry, that is wiggling, isn't it? Joyce, hello. Thanks for watching. I'm trying to like, I want to put my head up against it. <laughs> and so it's not wiggling so much. I forget the coloring kind of does that. So you can kind of see, I'm just kind of um, coloring the center of those a little bit more. And then we're going to go back with our granny apple green, right? Yes, the light 
and I'm just gonna kind of fill in this branch a little bit. And the kind of fun thing is here, since it's black and color everything, and it'll only show up where you don't have your black ink, right? So fill that in, I'm gonna fill that in. And then these little babies, woo! I would normally have my head down a lot closer, but I can't do that with the camera. So, okay, I hope I did a good job there. <laughs> it's really hard to say. But again, Granny Apple Green Light, uh, Petal Pink Light and Dark, and then Pool Party Light were the colors that I used on my project there. Okay, now we are going to add some dimensionals behind this guy. So these stitched so sweetly dies, something about them where they were just perfect um, with this stamp set. I just, they worked, they coordinated very well. And then I loved too the Eden dies, just kind of the little extra frilly detail that those add. Okay, so we're gonna put this. So now you can see, right, my little bloop there, blooper. No big deal. Okay, and then we're gonna add a little bit of adhesive. I want it just in this top corner. And actually, you know what I did do was I put a little baby dimensional because I was it was kind of like flapping in the wind there. So there's some, uh, this is like the anal part of me that I don't want to put dimensionals all, oops, there's a little backing there. I don't want to put dimensionals all over the back of this because this piece is going to be down on the card and the rest of it is going to be up on the part that's already popped up with dimensionals. And I don't like it to be crooked or like lopsided. So I put a dimensional back here and then adhesive right here. So it's all the same height. <laughs> that makes sense. Okay, we're going to add our bow. This is the little fresh freesia. Beautiful. This is kind of like that sheer ribbon or our new real red linen ribbon. So easy to work with, except when you're on Facebook Live, then it doesn't want to cooperate with you. Um, but so easy to make beautiful bows with this ribbon. And it pulls tightly to, to make those good bows. Okay, where are my scissors? We're gonna just snip that off right there, okay? We are gonna add a little glue dot back behind here. We are gonna snip some stuff off because that feels a little bit long. Right, and one more little snip, okay? There we go, get rid of those pieces. Okay, now we're going to, I'm gonna grab this little, my little silicone mat. Love that little baby. So we are just gonna snip these things apart. And you can see, right, I'm just gonna use these right here, but then I've got all of these left over that I can use for another card another time, which is very handy. So I'm going to just add a little bit of adhesive on the bottom kind of of each of those. And then I'm just gonna kind of tuck them back inside so they just kind of pop out that little bit. I just, I felt like, oh, it just needed a little something else there. So just add those right there. And then of course, we had to have a little bling on our card. So I went with my fresh freesia these are a mess. I've like divided these things up a couple of times. I've got one fresh freesia. And then again, going back to the whole, um, what is this color? This color is pale papaya. And I think it looks a lot like petal pink. So I think this one works really well too, right? Again, you can kind of bend the colors a little bit to be what you need. If they're not exactly like those aren't petal pink, but I think they look pretty darn good on that card, right? Okay, so I think we did it, ladies. What do you guys think? Aren't these two beautiful cards? We'll scoot that one out of the way, right? So I hope you enjoyed these cards so very much, as much as I did. I think um, I'm thinking of spring already. Hello, Miss Teresa, welcome. Okay, so again, if you put an online order in of at least $30, you're gonna get one of each of these cards as a thank you from me. Make sure you use this host code, not that, we'll like cover that up. The 3SZN4XQZ is our host code for January, basically, but we'll start it today, okay? Um, if you order, oh, actually, hold on, hold on, hold on. You also get your name in the drawing to win the Simply Marvelous Designer Series paper with your at least a $30 order. If you bump your order up to $50, you also get to pick from 
the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial or the new polished dots. All right. So, and then if you wait until January 4th, which is Tuesday, you will get a free celebration item with your $50 order. So, so much. It's kind of like buy one, get one free, really. If you get your name in the drawing, you get these cards, you can get a free embellishment of the PDF tutorial, and you get a celebration choice, all with a $50 order. That is pretty darn fabulous. And you know what? I'm seeing one more thing I forgot to share. I'm going to show you guys right now while I'm, I did miss it. So, these are some fun little calendars that I made um, for everyone in my downline and then all of my club members received these. And I love that you are perfectly unique. I think that's a great sentiment and obviously perfect for every single person in your life. And then these fun little calendars, right? So it stands up. Can you guys kind of see? It stands up like that. Right? So, and I gave one to my um, hairdresser too, and I'm like so excited. Um, hopefully I go in next month and she's like actually using the calendar because I think that's so handy to have these little calendars. Um, you know, when you're um, going to the hair stylist, right? And you got to make your next appointment and you can flip a month or two back, right? Oh, the other thing I should show you guys, this is new designer series paper from the Celebration brochure. This is, uh, I think it's called Sunshine and Rainbows designer series paper. So fun, fun paper and some more new, those are new rhinestones. I can't remember what they're called, but a, like a fun new rhinestone that we have too. So anyway, fun little calendars to start the new year off on the right foot, right? So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I know I was super chatty, um, but I love like hanging out with you guys again. So I missed you all last week, what was Christmas Eve. So that was kind of a crazy day, right? But okay, thanks guys. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Email me if you do, please. That's the best way to get a hold of me. Okay, all right, thanks. Bye everybody. Oh, and happy new year too. <laughs> Bye.